Before I go into the full lines design, I want to comment on the reshaped bow versus flat bow or flat bottom bolt. Paul has more experience in this area and his comment is the flat bottom hull is so much easier to turn. I concurred with his finding. It was a surprise to me the maneuverability of the flat bottomed bolt is very good and also it's easy for me to paddle. Maybe the size of bolts are small. Whether you do V shape or flat bottom, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, this is the plan. They have different kinds of full lines. These are dotted lines uh, are for folding the bolt into shape. I fold along the line here, forming the shape of a bolt. And the other one is uh, along this axis, I paint it yellow. These are the lines which I use to fold the bow in the shape so that I can carry it or put inside my car. I try to fold it into a box shape. There's a cavity inside here where I can stuff uh, some other accessories for the boat. So I've tested. I can fold it hundreds of times and the joint here doesn't show any wear and tear. That's why when I design my boat, I try to fold it so that I know it, it will maintain its uh, integrity. This folding is okay. I can fold it many many times. Uh, but when I design the fold, I try to avoid this kind of angle if possible. Now in this case, I can handle it very well. The edge is very smooth, but when I turn the other way, you see the, the point, point corner here, which I want to avoid. So. Uh, it is possible to fold this way, but being safe, I tend to try to fold into one, one fold. I also try to minimize the bending radius of the coral plus to 90 degree. If you look at a, a pontoon which I designed, these are, the, these are the fold lines to make the bow smaller for transportation. This is bottom of the pontoon. When I fold it this way, now it forms the pontoon. And so I'm going to fold the bow this way. As I fold this way, it is like I'm folding it this way. If you see here, and which is here. And then I try to fold it all the way into this box. The stress points here are well above, above the water line. Uh, even though if it's not that reliable, it would be okay. The water wouldn't get in. By doing the double folding, I can get the bow into a much smaller form factor when, when I carry it around in the car. If I adopt the bow design like my canoe, and if I try to follow my folding technique to create a box, there are quite a few critical areas which the coral plus are double fold and I'm not too comfortable having too many double folded regions under the waterline. The foldings are here. I can do something similar to what the canoe has done by creating more fold lines here so I can bend the bow this way. The folding is a lot more complicated than mine. In order to design a bow that can be made easily, I choose to make the folding more intuitive and simpler to make. 